trying to turn me into a proper capitalist. <laughs> but your National Health Service not good enough for me. It's a question of security, sir. <laughs> of course. <laughs> If you'd rather go to another hospital, Mr. President. Hey, I want the best. <laughs> There's a lot riding on this operation. All right. Come on, Natalia. <laughs> this PA seems very intimate with him. She's his wife. His wife? She's the same age as his son. His second wife. There must be more to him than meets the eye. Undoubtedly. So wipe that look off your face and keep your mind on the job. Keep perfectly still, sir. Mr. President, I'm afraid I agree entirely with your own surgeon's diagnosis. Oh, no. But the difference is, I believe we can operate. You can save his life. Thank goodness. Puts a new perspective on signing your nuclear decommissioning deal. I'll get the benefits of a bum-free future <laughs> along with the rest of them. We must act fast. Your condition is deteriorating rapidly. If we don't operate within 48 hours... I know. Kaput. That's not exactly how I would put it. Yes, it is. No point beating about the bush. You know the government will cover all the costs. There's no need for any delay. It's not money or resources. It's my father's problem blood. Grigore, don't be such a pessimist. Although your condition makes any surgery extremely dangerous, there is a way to stabilize the AB balance in your blood. An experimental new serum derived from the venom of an Amazonian viper. So my only hope rests in the mouth of a snake. <laughs> I like it, Mr. Patrickson, I like it. The source material is obviously hard to come by, but we have just enough here to stabilize you for the operation. How do we know it won't harm him if it's so new? Do I have any choice? I want to live. Start the treatment. Is this the surveillance video from outside the clinic? Mm. The gunman's been identified as Sean Driscoll, ex-SAS. Mercenary for hire. The question is, who hired him? That tracker we got in the car, is it still working? Of course, one of my best. Strong signal. The assassin's car seems to have parked up. Never mind the assassin. Who's the supermodel? 
His wife. I married earlier this year, six months after his first wife died. Didn't waste any time, did he? So why are we giving them the red carpet treatment? After his election, Rostov found himself in charge of a sizable nuclear arsenal, a legacy of Soviet rule. So we don't care about him, but we do care about the nukes. What we care about is decommissioning that arsenal. Keeping Rostov alive could have a huge impact on world peace. Before the Soviets pulled out, they installed Medusas. Multiple head ICBMs with nuclear payload. And we hope, where Rostov leads, others will follow. So paying for his medical treatment is just a uh, little sweetener to persuade him. To persuade him to use a British firm for the decommissioning. And if he doesn't, he can whistle free surgery. That is not how Her Majesty's government conducts diplomacy. OK, Ed. You and I let's go and check out this Driscoll and find out who he's working for. But be careful. If nuclear weapons are at stake, we're playing against Premier League opponents here. Alex. And for us? There's a trade reception at the embassy. President Rostov is expecting you. Great. We get to play diplomacy. Joy. from Rostov's country on the supermarket shelves. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Channing! Ross. Oh. Hello, Nick. Or should I pretend not to know you? Are you undercover? Ross? It's all right. Ross doesn't tell me anything about your work. I just put two and two together. Excuse me. Mr. Ilovich? What is he doing here? This is a reception for business people, and he's here to make contacts. I didn't think you were still seeing him. Beckett, am I not allowed a private life? No. Hello. What did I say? Ah, uh, Mr. Beckett. <laughs> Got your bulletproof vest on? Uh, that won't be necessary, sir. Whoever it was, won't get a second chance. Of course not. I hear your team's the best. Absolutely. Though don't let Varetsky know that I said that. Head of security, you can tell them a mile off. Mr. President, my colleague, Ross Henderson. Uh, very perceptive, very beautiful. Mr. Beckett, if I had been allowed to accompany the president this morning, I'm sure the cowards who attempted to take his life would never have escaped. My people are on the trail, OK? But will they catch them? You met my son, Grigori? Thank you for what you did, Mr. Beckett. It would have been tragic if my father had died before he could complete what he set his heart on for so long. Wiping out the Soviet legacy. Finally junking all their bombs and missiles. It's a miracle, it's so tiny. Channing, what are you doing? Mr. Hardy says with this you can always keep tabs on me, Nikolai. My company specializes in miniaturized technology. That's just a sample of the things we could make if we were to establish a manufacturing base in your country. Yeah. Very pretty, but what on earth is it? It's a very accurate tracker. It uses GPS, global positioning by satellite. Uh, you have one too? No, I, uh, I designed it. Oh. <laughs> Channing, this isn't a trade fair. Can't you be a little more discreet? Their country's a major investment opportunity with a huge demand in consumer electronics. It could make you a fortune. I don't need any more money. What are you laughing at? <laughs> never mind, eh, Channing? Hey, why don't you try me? I never refuse a freebie. <laughs> Beckett had a close encounter with. But what is this place? Conflict hardware? Sounds like a feisty computer company. <laughs> Maybe they sell kitchen stuff. You better find out which.
nice to see a woman in charge for a change. I thought they always were. So this is what they sell. Conflict hardware. Some euphemism. What exactly are we looking for? Anything to link Driscoll to this place. Something to explain why he wants to kill President Rostov. All things considered, I think I'd rather be eating canapes at the embassy. Well, we've all had to search through rubbish bins in our time, Alex. Or is it my company you're objecting to? You don't think I like being with you? Well, I'm not the boss and I'm not the computer genius, am I? You think I see you as a bit of a lightweight? Always ready with a chat-up line or a joke? Good with the physical stuff, but not as deeply committed as Beckett. You say what you mean, why don't you? There you are, joking again. But there's more to you than that. I can see that now. You can? You care about what you do. And you care about Roz and Beckett, too. You don't like to admit it. Not even to yourself. But I can see right through you. Look, it's a customer list. Wow. You're not even supposed to sell bandages to half these regimes, let alone weapons. Check this out, it was in the desk. Instructions for the safe transportation of Medusa missiles. These people are putting Rostov's missiles up for sale. Well, maybe he's not as committed to peace as we thought. Alison, did you leave my door open? What are you doing in my office? Miss Kay, uh, I'm with maintenance. Uh, someone reported a, a problem with the air conditioning. First I've heard of it. And it's Ms. Kay. Try again. OK. Can I speak confidentially? About what? I'm in the market for some ordnance. Really? Most of my customers make appointments rather than break in. Well, it's a bit delicate, really. I had to check you out first. I understand you supply weapons over and above what's in your catalogue. You've been misinformed. Oh, really? A man by the name of Sean Driscoll told me this was the place to come. Never heard of him. Who are you? I sell these. They're very accurate and silent. <laughs> I think she's fainted. We're gonna get an ambulance. No! We can't have a gun battle in here. But they know about us. We can't just let them go. Well, let our man at the embassy deal with them. How did they trace you, Driscoll? Have you become a liability? Don't worry. I'll do what you paid me for. Oh, you better. I want those warheads. They're worth a fortune to me, and I can't get them while Rostov's in the way. It may look a little primitive to you, but our video surveillance system is quite adequate. I've seen worse, Mr. Varetsky, believe me. Your video recorder isn't switched on. It should be. It is now. Is that where you keep the treasures? <laughs> you must allow us some secrets. May I? Are you absolutely certain? Oh, there's Beckett. This is scary. If Rostov's warheads are on the open market, they could end up anywhere. Well, Beckett, all sorts of nutters are prepared to buy themselves into the nuclear club via the back door. This Bridget Kane must have a contact in Rostov's government. Unless it's Rostov himself. No. If Rostov had wanted to sell, he'd have done so. He could have paid for a thousand operations with the money those warheads would raise. You keep in touch. <clears throat> oh, my mother wanted me to learn, but I never really had the patience to practice. You should take it up again. Yeah, I don't really have time for that sort of thing anymore. Oh, it's a shame. 
I wanted to thank you for what you did at the clinic this morning. You saved my life. It's a pleasure. It's all part of the service, Madame Rostov. Call me Natalia, please. Mm. Yeah? All right. Well, I was certainly done a good job with this one. It makes me feel safe. Mm. Good. Has the President been attacked before? Not whilst I've been with him. I suppose I'll have to get used to this kind of thing. How did you meet? Came to one of my concerts. You play piano. How did you know? <laughs> a wild guess. Anyway, you don't seem the tuba type. <laughs> well, that's very romantic. Love at the concert hall. His wife was dying at the time. He said my music gave him hope for the future. And now he's the one who's dying. It's all right. He'll get the operation. Everything will be fine. There you are, my darling. Time for my medication. I'll go and get it. <laughs> Is it really made from snake venom, sir? Who cares? As long as it does the job. <laughs> Here you are, sir. I said you down as a jazz person. I'm sorry? It's all techno. What are you talking about? Oh, by the way, the ode to joy is usually in D major, not C. It's gone. The medicine's disappeared. There must have been somebody inside the embassy. Someone close to the president. You've got a traitor. So you're trying to tell me in your own funny way that you were quite like me? Like a lot of people. You, Ross, Beckett, my neighbours, the man in the corner shop. <laughs> Even Jan's not so bad at times. So you're not trying to say anything uh, special? I can wait for an answer. Whoever stole the serum turned the video off first. Madame Rostov. Natalia? Why? She's half his age. She came straight out of nowhere when his first wife died. Don't tell me that's not grounds for suspicion. It's not proof of guilt either. Who else had the key to the safe apart from you and me? Grigory Veretsky. Nobody else? However, the medication was stolen. It's obvious that the security here is compromised. May I suggest that we move the president over to the bureau? At least we can guarantee his safety there. Like you did at the clinic this morning. I think my father should stay here. If he's not safe among his own family. Grigori, of course I'm safe with the family. And I think Mr. Beckett's suggestion is a good one. I'll make arrangements for us to leave as soon as possible. What's happening with the serum? The clinic's run out. There's only one other place that does it. Have they got any? Yeah. Right, you and Ed get over there. The serum's the only way to keep Rostov alive and stop the weapons falling into the wrong hands. Hi, I'm Ros Henderson. Hi. I spoke to your research director, Mr. Blunt, earlier. He's expecting us. Yes, one of your colleagues is already here. What do you mean, a colleague? Well, he arrived about ten minutes ago from the bureau, like you. Show us where they went quickly. Mr. Blunt! The serum. Driscoll. Don't move! Now!
I managed to save some. Well, I wasn't so lucky Driscoll got away. Which one tipped off Driscoll? Yeah. Natalia? Yeah, sure. Grigori? Yeah, um, switch on. Or yeah. Beretsky? Uh, the screen is up there. Mm -hmm. Faithful son, head of security, or the new wife? Oh, well, uh, you seem to have made up your mind already. On the contrary. My policy is to trust no one until they've earned that trust. Don't let any of them out of your sight. Comfortable, Mr. President? Ah, uh, yes. My father is getting weaker by the minute. Oh. I must register a protest. This is not the best place for him. Grigori, you are not the patient. This beats the embassy any time. Better color scheme and I get to play with Miss Henderson's toys. I've already lost my mother to illness. If my father dies, I'm holding your government responsible. Of course. Don't listen to him. Whatever you say, Mr. President. I managed to save about 10 mils. Good. Wonderful. Let me give it to him immediately. And no. Perhaps Ross should do it. What? We have so little of it. I wouldn't want any of it to get spilt in your eagerness to give it to the President. Don't fight over me, girls. Just pump it in. Ross. Without the operation, he's only got a few days left to live. I hope I'm that cheerful when my time comes. Knowing you, Beckett, I doubt it. <laughs> if he only has a few days to live, why is someone trying so hard to kill him? Because of the life-saving operation. Hmm? Well, everybody thought he was on the way out naturally, and that's fine. But then he finds a surgeon that can save him. That's not so good. So, the traitor gets in touch with the arms dealer and tells him to hire an assassin. And of course, the big question is, gang, who is the traitor? Well, Jan thinks it's Natalia. I can't believe it's hers. Oh, Beckett, come on. Don't be fooled by looks. I mean, look at it logically. She's married him for what she can get out of him, not for love. Shh, 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 shh. Is that Beretsky I don't trust? Beckett, I think Ed has a point. She's just... Look, it's not up. her, OK? Sorry to interrupt, but there's one or two things I've left at the embassy. Do you think I could fetch them? I don't think that's a good idea. Yes, of course. I'll come with you. Make sure everything's all right. Thank you. I'll get my wrap. OK. Well, the operation's booked. By the time Natalia and I get back, uh, the serum should have taken effect, so we can move them straight over to the clinic. I won't be long. Why is he so stubborn? It is always getting him into trouble. I know. Keep an eye on him. We're at the embassy now. No sign of Rostov's wife yet. You maintain your cover. Got the code? Yes.
Madame Rostov and the man Beckett. All we require for their safe return are the Medusa missiles. Natalia, how dare they! Just do as we say and no harm will come to us. You don't want the weapons. Others will pay anything for them. No one should have these weapons. They are obscene. You know our demands. You have two hours to make your choice. Only two hours. Shouldn't we have given them more time? I don't think they're going to play ball. Then get to the hospital. Stop that operation. Can't your man on the inside handle it? I don't know if we can rely on him. He may lose his nerve. But when you kill the president, he'll have to keep his end of our deal. We shouldn't be here among strangers. How can I guarantee your safety in this place? Relax, man. You'll worry me to death. Father, how can you joke at a time like this? I'm not frightened of dying. And what are you going to do about Natalia? She'd want me to finish what I've started, ridding our country of these evil weapons. And if they kill Natalia? I'm glad to hear that you care. I know it must have been difficult for you when your mother died. Yes, but Natalia is your wife now. I will not give in to blackmail. Mr. President, did your wife hang on to the tracker Channing Hardy gave to her? The GPS, yes. Good. Then we can use that to find them. Ed, can you meet me at the hospital? Sure. There's a pickup I need you to make on the way at, uh, at Channing's place. Channing's? We can locate Beckett using the miniature GPS Channing gave to Madame Rostov. What do we want from him? The locator set to the correct frequency. OK, I'm on my way. Thanks. It's not often a free sample comes in useful, is it? Sorry to be quite so familiar. <laughs> we don't have a lot of choice. A delicate situation. Mm. In more ways than one. A situation you've been in before? Not exactly, no. Why have they done this to us? <sighs> to stop your husband dismantling the nuclear weapons. The people that brought us here want those weapons to sell. Disarmament is so close to his heart. He will never change his mind. And if he doesn't, what will happen to us? Explain the situation. It's terrible news about Beckett. Yeah. Uh, where's this locator unit then? It's not all glamour and fun, your line of work, is it? No. Hey, all that stuff's Ross's, isn't it? Didn't realise she spent so much time here. I think she gets a bit lonely in that new place of hers. I keep telling her to take the plunge and move in here. Here, this is specifically set to Natalia's device. It's factory tuned and coded. Maybe Ros will forgive me now for pushing our products at embassy receptions. Yeah, well, I'm sure she'll have something to say on the subject. Look, I've got a dash. Nice pad. Do try not to smoke, Mr. President. There's a lot more than my life riding on this operation. Excuse me? I don't want to make you nervous. Surgeons need steady hands, shall we? Good 
you go. Thanks. I'll get straight off and find Beckett. Um, Ed? I suppose you saw all my stuff at Channing's. Would you not tell Beckett? If you don't want me to. Thanks. Nikolai's not worrying. Anxiety's bad for him. He'll be in the operating theatre soon, I'm sure. Yes. Your wife must worry all the time about what you do. I'm not married. <laughs> Who'd have me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that must be someone. An attractive man like you. <gasps> no. Nobody. What about Miss Henderson? You seem very close. Roz? She's just a friend. But you'd like her to be more than that. Does she know how you feel? No, of course not. Then you must tell her. She wouldn't be interested in me. <laughs> She's got someone else. Then give her the choice. She might surprise you. Don't let the chance of happiness slip by. I'm afraid your chances of future happiness are severely restricted. But hang on, I mean... There's still time for Rostov to agree to your demands. No, he's already refused. But that doesn't matter. I will get the Medusa missiles one way or another. Which is why you've planted that bomb. Very perceptive. The bomb is linked to a pressure pad here on the stairs. Standing on the pad will arm the bomb. Stepping off will detonate it. So when your enterprising colleagues come to rescue you... They'll kill us. One of your best sellers, I suppose. I reserve them for special clients. Checked upstairs, it's all clear. How is he? He's very calm. They'll have you in the theatre in half an hour. Any news of my wife? She'll be here when you come round. secured this entire floor? Yes, of course. And everything's safe in here. Alex, haven't you forgotten something? You can get the Medusa missiles when we're alone. Because someone in your party is working with her. Who? Veretsky? No. There's no evidence. He wouldn't become president if your husband were to die. How could he provide them with the weapons? He couldn't. You're right. Some people assume that you'd be the natural successor. And so thought I was the traitor. I never did. No. I would never succeed, Nicola.
One of my enterprising colleagues just arrived. Rostov will be safe once he's in the theatre. Who's that? Roz, is that you? Back here. Roz, don't come any closer. There's a booby trap. Beckett, is this booby trap triggered by a green pressure pad? Yeah, whatever you do, don't tread on it. Now you tell me. Don't move a muscle. As soon as you step off the pad, the bomb will detonate. If I throw you my lockpick, you can free yourselves. Don't throw it, Roz. Bowl it. Yeah, but I don't want to hit the stumps, do I? Well, not many English bowlers do. Thank you. A full toss should do it. What are you talking about? Cricket. Is this any time to discuss sport? She's obsessed with it. Damn, edge to the slips. Sorry. Take your shoe off. Please. I'm about to save your president's life, if it's all right with you. Cigars in the Take it? Yes, it's nothing. Good. End up. You can help, Alex. <laughs> Good. Well done, Ed. Is Mr. Patrickson up to saving my life now? Come on, Doc. You got an operation to perform. I'm afraid not. Once you're out of the way, those missiles will be mine. So, you'd kill your own father. Why not? He killed my mother. She died of cancer. There was nothing anyone could do. You didn't even try! You were mesmerized by your pretty pianist. That's not true. You wanted to marry Natalia. So you let my mother die. 
I'm doing the right thing for my country. You're doing a god-awful thing for the world. Letting those missiles be sold to a trigger-happy dictator. That's really evil. Far more evil than killing your own father. And this is not particularly fast acting. But quite painless. Struggle as much as you like. A heart attack would suit me just as well. We're on our way, Ed. Natalia wants to be there when her husband wakes up. Patrickson says the operation will work. Natalia is very pleased to hear it. And those nukes are going nowhere except the junk heap. For which the whole world should be grateful. I'll go and get the car. <laughs> Nick, if I was Ros and you asked me, I know what I would say. Hey, Alex, I, um, I was thinking about getting a takeaway tonight. I, um, I was wondering if you'd like to, um, to share a pizza with me. Love to. Great. Uh, what kind of topping would you like? Whatever you're having. Except I don't like mushrooms. Okay. Or pepperoni. Fine. Or cheese or tomato. You do like pizza. <laughs> Channing! Channing. <laughs> what are you doing here? He's picking me up. And I thought you might like to say thank you. To him? <laughs> what for? Well, if it hadn't been for the tiny GPS he gave to Natalia, I would never have found you. Hmm. Thank you, Channing. <laughs> Any time. Glad to be of service. Actually, I've got something for you. Now, this is from our GPS gizmo range. The executive tie pin. For me? Mm -hmm. The, uh, for him model. Hey, now Jen will be able to keep an even tighter rein on your baguette. <laughs> All you need now is a decent tie to go with it. 